Well, Pastor Greg Locke, you've experienced revival in your church, and you've actually said that you have had revival within revival with deliverance ministries being break, uh, breaking out. Um, but there's something in the news right now that we don't want to miss. Uh, mm. What's God? What God is doing in Asbury, uh, Kentucky, at the at the seminary right there. Yeah. Um, I know that last Wednesday uh, there was a, a, a what a chapel service that mm -hmm. just never ended. Um, <laughs> you're you're pretty close to that, and you actually just told me that you're going to be heading up there soon. But tell me about your thoughts of this revival and how do we keep things going? And uh, just yeah, tell me what God is speaking to you about this. Yeah, you know, in the '70s, Asbury College saw a mighty move of the Lord and it swept across college campuses all over America and around the world. And so I really think there's been a, a pocket of people that have prayed and fasted and longed for the Lord to really just do it again. And last week at 10 o'clock in chapel, I don't even think the preacher got finished with his whole message and it's just been going and go. I mean, they're, they're a hundred and something hours in at this point, 120 hours straight. Students are having lunch and snacks brought to them. Water is being shipped to them into the chapel. Kids aren't leaving. People are coming and going left and right. I saw a video last night at 1245, middle of the night, and there were hundreds of people just singing praises to the Lord. Nobody was leading it. No preacher. There's no professor. There's no you know professional evangelist. It's just an organic move of the Lord. And we're actually, as you said, we're going to go up there today and just kind of sit. I just want to sit in the glory. I want to go places where pockets of revival are breaking out because it's not just happening at Global Vision Bible Church in Mount Juliet, Tennessee. It's happening around the world. And I want to be a part of it. I want to see how God works in different contexts because we have so denominationally put God in a box. We think he has to do it just like this. Well, that, that's not God. God can do anything he wants to. You can't put God in a box. And once you let him out of the box, you certainly can't put him back in it. And so mm -hmm. it's interesting to see what's happening with Asbury right now. And I pray it just begins to pop up all over America. I have a dear evangelist friend. He pastors in Tennessee, but he's been an evangelist in Louisiana for 22 weeks of a tent meeting that broke out. His tent seats 2,000 wow. people. It's full every night. 22 <laughs> solid weeks. And he's as bad this as they come. Healings, miracles, deliverance, signs, wonders, it's happening. And so there are places around this nation where God is working. So we don't have to be discouraged reading the news media because no matter how bad it gets, here's what we know. In the last days, God's going to pour out his spirit upon all flesh, and he is doing just that. Amen. Amen. I think one of the things that we need to be doing, I mean, if you can get to Asbury while this is going on, we pray that it continues to go on and on yeah. and on. Um, but if you can't get there, pray for what God is doing. Yes. Pray for the students that are there. Pray for the just the presence of God, that it will really permeate people's lives Absolutely. and that we will just continue to see fruit from this that this is not just a experience for a one-time thing it's i mean it's already lasted for five yeah. days or, or whatever <laughs> it is at this point and it is something that we at charisma really care about we have been reporting on the moves of the of the holy spirit since the inception of charisma magazine mm -hmm. and so we're mm -hmm. excited whenever we see things like this and we're talking about sending some people to there uh, if we can. and But having people like you, Pastor Greg, that are going to be there uh, to let us know what the Absolutely. experience is on the ground is, is extremely valuable. So uh, could you just lead us in, in a prayer for this revival that is happening? Yeah. Absolutely. Father, in Jesus' mighty name, I thank you, Lord. I thank you first and foremost for what you are doing. And Lord, I thank you that you are doing it in various places because man is not going to get the glory for what you are doing. Lord, we say, as did the psalmist, Lord, it is time for thee to work, for they have made void thy law. And Lord, we see a buck wild, demon possessed culture going crazy and a church that's following right after it. So, Lord, revive your people, revive your church. Lord, I pray that you would do away with the lukewarm spirit of this church age. And Lord, just give us such a holy hunger for the things of God. Give us humility. May we walk in holiness before you. Lord, what's happening at Asbury, I pray that it would grow. It would exponentially reach around the world. And everywhere else that you are working, may it grow, may it mature, may people be reached for the cause of Christ. Lord Jesus, may you get glory 
And Holy Spirit, may you have free reign, free reign to do whatever it is, even if it makes us embarrassed and uncomfortable. Have your will and have your way. Send revival, we pray, in ways that we could never imagine. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Lord, send revival. We are ready mm. for that. Yeah. Uh, Pastor Greg, thank you so much for just taking this time to talk yes, about sir. revival and what's happening in Asbury. Amen.